next string down is your C. Next string down is your E. Next string down is A. Now see how it sounds with a C. Okay, first things first, you gotta tune this. This is a soprano ukulele. 98% of people start off on a soprano. Um, they're usually the really cheap ones, so they don't stay in tune particularly well. They don't play particularly well, but they do the job for when you're a beginner. And it's plus, you can get them for about 30 quid. Basically, the most likely scenario is that when you buy your ukulele, it will probably be out of tune by the time you go to play it. You do tend to have to tune a ukulele pretty much every time you start to play it. It's just the nature of stringed instruments. Basically, long story short, you're going to have to turn these machine heads, turn them, and what that does is it raises, it tightens or loosens the string, which raises the pitch higher or lowers it. And you're going to have to higher or lower the pitch of the string. So it was in anything along there. Um, you have to tighten or loosen the string until that string sits at the correct note, the correct pitch. So how you do that is you put on an electronic tuner, digital tuner. If yours has a ukulele setting, set it to ukulele, the U. And basically, as you hit the note, like this, this one's in tune. G. C. E. And A. It's a little off, but... Um, just knock it out of tune. For demonstration purposes. So, now it's out of tune. So now we're going to tune it, okay, so you hit the string, your top string, and turn this machine head until it says G, and you get that little arrow in the middle, and it'll light up. So higher, 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 it's too low, still a little too low, and there you go, G. And if you go too high, you'll have to turn it back down that way. For the moment, that's correct. So, next one is C. Next string down. There. C. Again, it's telling me it's too low. You can tell by... See that little... little speedometer kind of thing. And as you turn it, watch it move. So, it is saying C, so it's pretty close. But it's... See it there getting closer to the middle? There you go. Well, it's too high, but... So yeah, just, you've got to basically go like this, turn it either... Turn it either that way or that way... Until you land it in the middle. There. And now I'm down to this one. Next string. So this is my E string. You can see it's pretty close again because it's got E, but... Just move it. You might have to like tune it a lot to get it to the right note. Like I'll okay, give you an example. Tune it way down. So now I'm trying to tune my the third string down. So I was in one, two, three. So I'm trying to tune that string. And that's meant to be my E string because I'm telling you it is. <laughs> and it's saying C, so it's really off. It's, it's way low. So I'm gonna just have to keep turn on this machine head so you've gone from think alphabetically so a b c d e f g and if you're at g you need to go to a you go back to the start 
So it goes all music goes A B C D E F G A B C D E F G A B C D E F G. So we're here at C. We're trying to get to E. So we need to go. We need to raise the pitch up. So keep tightening it, tightening the string. C. It's okay. And we've gotten most. Well, skipped E and went straight to E. So we're at E. And getting closer. There we go. So we're at E. And try the next one. So we're going to the bottom string. And this one should be an A. So actually tune this one way down as well. And um, I'll, I'll just get it really wrong so I can show you again. Okay, so bottom string, it's meant to be an A, but it's saying E. When you hit it, it says E. And you're like, okay, that needs to be A. So that needs to go all the way up. I can hear by it, just by its pitch, that it's too low. That's like too low for the bottom string. And you'll learn that over time. Um, but for now, just trust the guide. Um, so we're hitting the bottom string, looking for it to be A. But it's not, it's G. So... Since we're at G, we're at the end of the octave, we have to go up to get to A, up one more. So we're at G, turn it up, getting tighter, 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 and past G, we're going past G, onto the next one, and we're onto A. So it's like the alphabet starts again, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So we're on to A, and that's pretty close. Cool. Now, you'll notice that even after you've tuned it, even though you had it right, as soon as you go back, it'll be out of tune again. So you just start it, just give it a quick go again, a second time. See? See, it's flat. It's just a little bit low. So turn it slightly. And get it green, so that's green, it's good to go. So next string again, C, C it's a little bit flat, a little bit low. Let's just turn it ever so slightly. And got it. Next one, E. E, okay, there you go. And a little bit flat. Yep, there you go. And A again is just a little bit flat again. So you notice that if the strings are low to begin with, if they were like, say, tuned down because it was being shipped or something, or it was just left beside a radiator, don't do that. Um, then you'll notice the strings will probably be low from the heat expansion. There you go. And we got A. So go through them again. It should be G. C, E, and A. completely open, that's how your ukulele should sound. <laughs>